All right, folks, Technivorous here. Today we are taking a look at simple changes to your model that will save you not only time, but filament as well. In this case, we are going to be eliminating a large amount of support and reducing it to this size by adding a simple fillet to the model we are printing at this edge right here. So stay tuned. We'll take a look at Kira and show you some stuff in Fusion 360 right now on the Technivorous channel. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. And here we are. These are the drawer inserts that I've designed. They are stackable. About four of these fit perfectly in the drawers that I've just purchased for organizing my components. That's one of the reasons it's a little bit of a mess right now around my workspace. I have a lot of Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and components for them. So these segmented drawers are going to help me a lot with the organization and kind of keeping things separate because a lot of these components are really, really tiny. Now, I have a couple of different designs here. You can see on the right side in the back that is just a full drawer. This one here is a dual segment. It is side by side. There is a front and back design as well. And then there is the four slots. These guys stack up pretty well. They insert right into each other and they fill the drawer pretty well. So I can get a large amount of components into the drawer in an organized fashion and that makes me happy. Uh, unfortunately, I'd already printed a few of these before I realized that I was wasting a lot of filament by not thinking out the design a little bit better. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a second. But you can see that these are pretty good quality. I'm enjoying using this filament. It's a marble filament. And I went with slow print times and low layer heights to increase the clean look. As you can see here, I have most of the support. Here, we'll get this out of the way here. I have most of the support from the original model that I was printing before redesign. And you can see that this is actually only three sides. I had tossed this into my plastic bin and I didn't feel like fishing around for the other side. But basically, uh, this is how much support we would be wasting printing with this overhang here. This lip is supported all the way around the model by a skin and that skin is a substantial amount of filament actually. In a minute here you'll see that it turns out to be around 50 grams so it's quite a bit and this is the new model. You can see it looks a little bit cleaner without that lip there. It's got a nice clean fillet on it and it is really sharp. It also doesn't have this lip here that needs to be supported so the only support that we print with this other model here is this ring right here. So that is an immense amount of filament savings from one tiny change. And it goes right here. It's basically still supporting that lip where they snap in together. Um, but the big difference is uh, a major reduction in print time and plastic. So let's jump over to Kira now and we will take a look and I'll show you exactly what we are saving. All right, so here we are in Kira, and as you can see on the left, I have the original model. On the right, it is the model with the fillet. Now, the left-hand model is still slicing, has a lot more support to figure out, so it is going to take longer. If we look at the right-hand model, you can see it is already done, and we can compare the two. Now, we have over 200 grams of filament in the left-hand model. 50 of that is going to be support, as denoted by the fact that we have around 150-something in the right hand model so over the course of a single kilo of filament we'd be able to print a whole nother drawer and that kind of makes me want to kick myself and wish i had spent five more minutes thinking about making this design a little bit more economical instead of just jumping right into printing it and that today is my point that when printing multiple objects multiple of the same thing or when printing something that you know is going to take a lot of print time, a couple of minutes thinking about how you can reduce your overhangs, reduce your support, or maybe reorient the model can save you a ton of print time in the long run. So if we're shaving off about six or seven hours over the course of printing five of these, we're saving a day. So it's quite a bit of difference and the plastic saved is also something worth noting. Let's go ahead and we'll jump over to Fusion 360 here in just a second. I'll show you exactly what I did to make this change. But again, I just want to reiterate that that's something that you always want to be conscious about. Can I make a small change and make this work better? Can I make it print faster? Can I save plastic? Can I do anything to improve the workflow with this object that I've just created? 
And here we are in Fusion looking at my original model. Now, as you can see, it is pretty simple. I have made those adjustments. There are two fillets here. There is one at the top that I'm going to go ahead and we'll just remove this. You can kind of see what it looked like before. And it would have been fine to print with this slightly more angular design. And in fact, uh, I'll show you in just a second here. I could have reduced the original fillet quite a bit and still not had an overhang. I just like the aesthetic of smoothing it out really far into the model. Uh, I could have saved a little more plastic if I had set it to, say, right about here and still not had to print the overhang. But I'm happy with how things turned out. And a 50 gram savings per box is not bad at all. So it was a pretty simple step to just go back in there. And I actually added it in right before the steps where I divided the segments. That way they were all still the same when I exported the different segmented drawers. So this is, again, something that is very crucial to thinking about. We can go back in and look and see just exactly how much support this little line right here is all we're using and it's just supporting that very very edge we don't have to support this lip anymore and the savings in print time i can't say enough uh the savings in print time is amazing as well as the savings in filament again we're going to get a whole nother drawer out of this kilo which means less usage altogether and a lot less waste so as you're getting ready to print your model as you're designing your models be thinking to yourself how is this overhang going to print is there a way to reduce this angle is there a way to make this more printable that's going to be it for this video guys pay no attention to the mess going on behind me pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt check this out finally got the merch available that's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now, so go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see, and thanks for watching, guys.